Good morning students. Hope you all are doing good, abiding by what your parents are telling you. Please listen to them and do the school task on time. Now let's get back into the world of mathematics. This is the second video where we are going to discuss warm up question number 11 to 18. So let's start. Page number 11, sorry, page number 10, question number 11. Write the numbers and names. Now we have to write the numbers and also number names. Of my, I'm doing now question number B. So this is called spike, and these are called bits. Here, six bits are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are called bits. Now, here in, in one's place, how many bits are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here, five. One, two, three, four, five. So in this spike, 6 bits are there. In this spike, in 10 spike, 5 bits are there. Now what we will write? Here 6. So in 1's place, 6. And 10's place, 5. So it is 56. Here they have uh, asked for, write the numbers. We have written the numbers and number names. Number names as because... Here few more questions are there. That's why they have written in cruel. But we are solving only one question. Yeah, so it is 56. Like this. Like this you have to write. Now rest. Question A and C you will be doing. Understood? Now we are going to do question number 12. Draw the number shown in the box. Again, we will be drawing the spike. This is 10th place. This is 1th place. Now, they have given box. In the box, they have given a number. Right? They have told you have to draw the bits. What number? Here, 1, 7, 17. Now, 7 is, is in 1th place. So, we will be drawing 7 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And 1 is in 10th place. So, 1 bit we have to draw here in 10th spike. Correct? Understood? So, this is your question number 12. Question number 12. A, B and B. Uh, I have done question number 12, B. So, you will be doing A, C A, in your book. Okay? Now, 
Now question number 13. Write in expanded form. Write in expanded form. They have given question. Question C. I am solving here. Question number C. 97. So we have to expand this number. How to expand? Expanded form means sum of the place values of its digits. Here how many digits are there? How many digits? Two digits. Fine. So this is in ones place and this is in tens place. So we have to add both the place value of the digits. Now 7 is in ones place. Ones place. The so place value 7 is 7 and place value of 9 is 90. Understood? So 97 is equal to expanded form of 97 is 90 plus 7. So you have to solve question number A, B and D. Question number A, B and D you have to solve in your book. I think you have already done in the previous class. So I am not explaining more. But you have understood, I think. Now, question number 14. Write in standard form. I am solving here question number B. 90 plus 5. Now, standard form, how? From here, we have done expanded form. From expanded form, we have to find, we have to get the standard form. Standard form here, 95. So, 90 plus 5 is 95. Tens place, we have to check. Tens place, 9. And ones place, 5. So, our answer is correct. So question number, here also question number A, B and C you will be doing in your textbook by your own. Now question number 15. Put symbol. This is one symbol and this is another symbol. So where it is necessary, you have to put any one of the symbol. Question A is 76 and 70 and B is B not B again solving here set F. F is 49 and 69. Okay. I'm telling you, this, this is a uh, demon's mouth. Okay. He loves to eat bigger numbers. When he sees bigger number, he opens his mouth like this. Got? Now he is searching for a bigger number. And reached question number A. Ah, uh, now 76 and 70. Which one is the bigger number? 76. So, he, he will eat it up like this. So, he has opened his mouth like this. Now, uh, after this, he has opened like this his mouth. Ah, uh, he want to eat. Now, after eating, he has gone to question number F. Here he has seen 49 and 69. Which one is the bigger number? 69 is the bigger number. So again he has opened his mouth like this. Ah, I'll eat it. So it's like this. Understood? Fine. Now, question number 16. Okay, so rest all questions you will be solving by yourself. Fine? 
Okay, now I'll start question number 16. Here, we have to find out the smallest number and greatest number. Question number 16. Okay, so numbers, see question number C, I will be solving, 85, 99, 24, 36. The simplest way to find the smallest number, how do you know? Here, all are two digits number. First, you have to check whether number of digits are equal or not. Here, all are two digits numbers. Now, out of this, you have to check now, in tens place, which number is smaller number. Okay, so here, 8, 9, 2, 3. Which one is the smallest number? Two. So just close your eyes and you write this number is smallest one. If the if in tens place digit is smallest, that means the number itself is smallest. Now again you search for the highest digit in this line in tens place. So it is nine. So that means this is the biggest number. Finish. Understood? Now, question number 17. Arrange in ascending order. Ascending order means means smallest to biggest. Okay. Now question is thirty nine seventy three fifty eight. 26 and 82. Ascending order, you already know how to find the smallest number. Here, 2 is the smallest digit. Fine. How to find the smallest number? 2 is the smallest digit among all the numbers in tens place. That means this is the smallest number. 26. Now one more thing always remember when you because many numbers will be there. So when you write one number you have to cut that number. Not to this like this. Now next bigger number is which one? You have to check only one tens place. Tens place is 3 is the biggest. Uh, uh, bigger than 2. That means 39 will be the next number. So I will cut 39. Then after that, 5, 7, 8, mm -hmm. 5. So that means 58 will be the next number. I will cut 58. Now next is 7. Correct. So 73 will be the next number. And the biggest number will be 82. 82. When you wrote all the numbers, you check all the numbers you have cut or not. If you have not cut any number, then again you have means you have missed something. So you check your answer. Understood? Now question number. Rest you will be doing in your textbook. Fine. Now 
question number eight. Eighteen. Arrange in descending order. Descending means descending means biggest or greatest whatever biggest number to smallest. Question is D question we will solve thirty five, sixty four, twenty three, seventy two, and hundred. Now here all two digit number no one is three digit number. When you see one is three digit number, that means this number is the biggest. Here we have to just do opposite to this ascending order or ascending or descending means biggest to smallest. So we have got, got the biggest number. So we will write the biggest number because it is a three digit number. We are not going to check in one's place is what number, in tens place which number or in hundreds place which number. We have to just count one, two, three. Oh God, that means it is three digit number. That means it is biggest number. So I'll put it here and I'll cross here. Now all are two digit number then again some same formula will be uh, will be applying which now two we don't need the smallest number we need now biggest one here seven right so 72 will be the 72 will be the next biggest number then next six so 64 will be the next bigger number then 35 then 23. Now I have seen all the numbers been cut. Means our all we have already written. Understood? I think it is clear. This is all about today's class. So my dear children, you will be doing all warm-up lesson in your textbook. Thank you and have a safe day ahead.